Your heart hurts. Today's the first of July. And we had to go to the court because the last judge recused himself. Reset the case, which goes back to August. Ministry of Polk State College picked up the trespassing, offered $250, have a squash. Declared guilty for something that one didn't do and would infringe upon freedom for all people that choose to go to the state university system to preach. So, this may be the 12th or 13th time we've had to appear. There's been a mistrial. We had a jury selected. The day of trial, it was declared that the trial could, could, not, could not go on because of some faulty equipment in the courthouse. Now they've changed the plea. They're no longer offering time served. They're offering 30 days. Refusing to remove the head cover, being put into a cell, stripped of the clothing twice. Two other naked men. The letter that I made for you on the indigent green card with a poem. Did you receive it? No. I didn't get yours. You sent one? A few. A few? They didn't come to us at the house. No. So, today, we went to court and uh, we were uh, asked to not come into the courtroom because why? Because we, the officer said he wasn't playing our games. Officer said he wasn't playing my game. Mm -hmm. Games with me or something to that effect. Um, refused to let us in the courtroom. Had refused to allow family in the courtroom, particularly you. And so we waited outside and we were the last ones to be called, which is not unusual because it's been that way as far as I could remember with this case, uh, being the dead last person uh, with maybe one or two exceptions um, in which we were more still at the tail end, uh, having these these uh, appearances scheduled for 12:45, and not getting out till sometimes five o'clock, uh, close to five o'clock, and so um, this was not unusual for us to be called last. Uh, myself having being re representing myself um, you know had refused to answer some particular questions objecting to them as discriminatory as I had done with the previous judges that had you know admonished you know allowed this and still were able to represent myself. Uh, this time was different. The woman declared me incompetent for refusing to answer 
one or two questions. And elected a defense lawyer from the state to make pretend. So I refused to accept that. I had refused to sign the paperwork. And at that time, it was unknown that you were out of the courtroom. Uh, but when I heard to call the lady in and I turned and you weren't there, I thought that she was talking about you. What happened? How did you get called? How did you get out of the courtroom? Because the officer said I had a recording device, so he told me to leave the courtroom. The officer said you had a recording device. You left the courtroom, then what happened? So objected to their recording of us on this particular day prior to them becoming feisty and then what happened so they call me they call me and they they asked me what was that device what did I what did I have on me was it a recording device and I told them that it's for my protection and because of past experiences. Who was asking you that? The judge. Uh huh. She was asking me what was that device that I had in front of me. Yes. And that's when I told her that it was my protection. Yes. That I keep it on for protection. Then what? And then she, she, asked, she asked me if I was recording, and I told her no. And then she said if I, if I was recording, then I would be, it would be contempted court, and that I would be looking at 130 days or so in jail if they, if they call, if they call me recording. Yeah. And, and then what, what did she say? She threatened you with 130 days in jail. Yes. And then what? And then she told me to speak with the appointed lawyer that they appointed to me mm. right on the on spot. On the spot. On the spot. So she called me, she took me back and talked to me and told me he was trying to help me in her way because she see, she felt like this, she, it just happened so fast. Mm. So she was advising me 
and she was just asking, telling, telling me that this is what they're going to do to me. And that for what, for my consequences, for what I've done. What was she saying they were going to do? Give me jail time. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her that. They were going to give you jail time. For what, recording. Was, was this like a deal where they were having you on trial right then and there? I mean, because they, they hadn't even arrested you. Taking you in a back room isn't arresting you. Did they put any handcuffs on you? No. Did they read you any rights? No. Did they have you fingerprinted, take your picture, mugshot, put you in a cell? No. So they didn't even arrest you, and they were already telling you that this is what you were looking at, jail time? All right, and then what happened with the conversation? Then I told her that I wasn't, that I wasn't recording, and that I do keep, I do have it there for my protection because of the past experience. And then that time we had to go out, back out in the courtroom, and while I was sitting there, um, about ten cops came into the courtroom behind me, waiting for the arrest. And they had, they had forced me out of the courtroom yes. before, this, uh, before any of this happened. And I was in the elevator, you may have heard. Yeah. All right, you may continue. And then they request for I, I tech, two I tech men to come to uh, exa examine the two IT guys to come yeah. and and actually uh, discover the evidence yeah. on the spot yeah. before you had even been arrested. <clears throat> and then what? And then so. As we waited for them to arrive, they came, and then she called me up to the podium, and she asked me to raise my right hand, which I told her that it is not allowed, in according with our faith and our religion, to swear or raise her right hand, and she. She asked me again to raise my right hand right after that again. And she said that it's, she's not asking me to do it on a Bible. And, she, and how would she know if I was telling the truth if I didn't raise my right hand? And I told her that it is against our religion to raise our right hand and to swear and that I could be, I would be condemned if I did that. It would be con condemned. And she, that's when she told me that I wasn't cooperating. And I told her that I was cooperating. Then she let you go. And then she did, she made a decision, she decided to let me go on the, under the circumstances that I can't come to the courtroom. That you can't support me for this trial. That you won't show your face in front of that jury. Thank you for your time.